so this is Amazon Prime and uh, I haven't done any videos for uh, quite some time I think like a couple years but um I've uh, definitely been on the hunt I've still been digging uh, just as much as ever and uh, recently I uh, came across a find that um, just has to be documented basically I found so many things and um, I thought this would make a great video so I haven't put anything out in a minute um, people definitely uh, like to see hip-hop LPs I feel like and I've got a whole kind of got a whole I got a whole army of LPs here um, so like little backstory uh, a friend of mine stopped DJing I'd say about like maybe six or seven years ago kind of like stopped actively DJing and um, I know we had a, a pretty good collection of records and um, I've been I've been DJing with uh, mostly vinyl um, I do a little radio show and stuff so um, I uh, always like to have as much as I can on on wax um, and uh, I've been I've been uh, kind of this guy's messages trying to trying to um, get a chance to look at the records he's got he's been talking about kind of like scaling his collection down so um, finally after however many years uh, we agreed to uh, meet up and uh, I got to ride out to his storage unit uh, about an hour and a half outside of town and um, I uh, had pretty good luck there <laughs> um, still a lot of stuff that I haven't picked up yet but I kind of um, grabbed a lot of the stuff that I knew I needed or um, stuff I knew I probably wasn't gonna see again and uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break down the LPs the hip-hop LPs in this video and I'll do another video with uh, 12 inch singles and some of the soul jazz funk um, type of stuff a few compilations so um, without further ado uh, these are the LPs I picked up um, and, and this guy's stuff was definitely clean especially for a DJ uh, I think a lot of these um, didn't get a whole lot of use so um, some of these are, are much nicer than uh, you would expect to find in this type of collection but I'll kind of show you uh, first up we got so we're gonna start with all right we got uh, Lost Boys Legal Drug Money, first Lost Boys LP, 2 LP, real nice copy. Got out Beastie Boys, Check Your Head. This is actually a repress from, I think like 96 or 98, something like that. But a real nice copy of this. We got Lore Finesse, DJ Mike Smooth, Funky Technician. I think this is the German press because it's in the red, red text. And it's uh, on like Bellaphone and Wild Pitch, but um, this uh, I think this only came out in the U.S. It had gold text, and the German one was red. Um, and then those were like the only original releases. So I'm uh, still on a hunt for the gold one. But this is the 1990 Germany press. Uh, I put some of these grails for later on. I don't want to pop these out yet. Uh, we got Black Moon out of the stage. OG. Blase Blase, blah blah blah, 2LP original. This guy um, did what I would do, took the hype sticker and uh, stuck it on the record on a lot of these. Cool Keith, Sex Style, original press. There was actually another copy of both records in this sleeve too, which is cool. Gangstar, Moment of Truth, all three records, this one's still in the shrink. So I got the hype, little hype sticker on there too, as you see. This is a super, super clean copy of this. We got Tribe's first album, People's Instinctive uh, Travels and Passive Rhythm. This is a UK press, I believe. But um, really, really, really nice copy. All uh, right, this uh, this next one is definitely a grail. On the tribe, on the tribe tip here, we got. Low End Theory, 1991, or is it 92? 90, yeah, 91, US Promo Press. When um, Low End Theory came out, they did not release it on vinyl in the US as a commercial version. I don't think that came out until about 1996. So the only way we could get this album on vinyl at the time was this promo right here. Um, as you can see, it's like a plain sleeve with the um, the sticker and uh, it's on one record instead of two uh, also 
is uh, missing a few of the tracks that were uh, on the CD and the tape and the, and the two LP that came out later. But man, needless to say, this is one you don't come across much at all. Really, really hard to find this. So that's the uh, Low End Theory promo. Another Tribe LP, we got um, Beat Triumphs in Life. I still got the hype sticker on it, as you see. A little promo stamp, a little promo stamp on the back. I know he was in a record pool, so I think some of these LPs came from the record pool. Uh, we got this compilation, which I believe is a UK compilation, a revised quest for the Season Traveler on 2LP. There's a lot of the remixes, non-album cuts. All nice. Uh, I got some more heavy hitters here. We got Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. This one is a is an original press. And I figured out the way the way you can tell is uh, on the label, a little Wu-Tang Records logo, like right here. If it doesn't intersect this little ring that's indented in there, that's like the best way to tell if it's an original. I have another copy that looks almost identical to this that I thought thought was an original, um, but uh, that le that uh, logo is in a different place and the kind of the indent in the label looks a little bit different. But this, this one's an OG, 36 Chambers. And we got Ghostface Iron Man, really nice, really nice copy. Another Ghostface Iron Man with a little clips uh, promo corner. Two copies of Iron Man. Only built for Cuban links. First press. Still on the shrink. DJ Quick. Quick is the name. Original press with the um, hype sticker still. This is one I've, I've really been uh, looking for, but um, just, just one that uh, I haven't really come across in person. So that was one of my favorite albums as a, as a youngster. Quick is the name. Miseducation of Lauren Hill, first press, and the shrink like some of the others. Real nice copy of this. Hieroglyphics, Third Eye Vision. Uh, they just released this again. They just did a repress of this. Um, the repress is actually really cool to get too because it's got the uh, extra tracks with uh, the rapper names like uh, OPO, A Plus. They had. Um, self-titled tracks on the LP that didn't come out on the wax the first time so they're not on this version they are on the repress um, still like classic classic West Coast album this one got a major play uh, on CD when it first came out by me we got uh, Grave Diggers Six Feet Deep original US in the shrink with the hype and the little gold promo stamp it's a pretty tough one Got Jay Z and uh, Danger Mouse, great album. This is one of the the more legit pressings. I think it was a UK press on uh, two records. A little piece of hip hop history right there. Where they took the uh, Jay Z Black album and uh, took the acapellas and uh, put them over beats that were all composed from song or sounds and uh, samples from uh, Beatles White album. That's the Gray album. Um, the infamous Mob Deep OG Innocent with the, with the price sticker on it. You definitely can't buy LPs for $9.99 anymore, much less double LPs. Um, this is another one I've got, but um, my copy wasn't as nice as this. This copy's super cherry, super nice. Jerry with the Damager, Sun Rises in the East. Um, this one's interesting because it's. A little bit glossier material on the cover. Um, I've got a copy of this with more of a flat cover that came out back then, and this one almost looked like too nice to be uh, legit. But I think I was looking it up, and there was another press um, right about the same time. It had some minor differences in the label and stuff. I guess what this is. Uh, here's another Grail piece. You got a uh, Jay Z Reasonable Doubt first press on uh, Rockefeller and uh, Freeze and Priority Records, 2LP in the shrink. So the story about this one, I've, I've got this LP, 
uh, picked it up a while ago at a local record store and uh, everything you know the the runouts and the, the numbers on it stock numbers and everything matched the original so I figured I had an original copy and uh, I was looking at it uh, recently when I was kind of organizing my LPs and I noticed that some of the graphics looked a little bit fuzzy and um, got to look and I figured out what I had was actually a bootleg um, so I kind of been on the hunt for a copy of this again and it's it's getting pretty pricey so uh, to find this now is and definitely a, a once in a lifetime thing I feel like I don't, I don't feel like I'm gonna come, come across this again in the wild for at least, at least for a reasonable price anyway uh, we got a first press of three feet high and rising De La. Get the hype sticker and all that a little uh, cartoon inner sleeve still in the shrink this is a kind of a um, unique one too speaking of three feet high and rising we get the picture disc which I believe was a UK only or maybe a Germany only press but the uh, the LPs printed on a picture disc yeah they were doing that even back then pretty cool another hard one uh, De La Soul is dead first press uh, US looks like somebody had picked this up in Japan at some point um, but all the numbers on it and everything are the, are the US version Another one you really don't really don't see much these days. Uh, another daylight. We got stakes is high. This is a U.S. promo. Unfortunately, this is the one with eight tracks. There are two versions of this. I think they might even have the same catalog number. But um, this one has four tracks on each side. I think the other one has eight tracks on each side. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is another one I had, but um, my copy wasn't quite as nice. Strangely enough, I had the same exact version. Um, this is just kind of like a mint up for the, for the one I had. But yeah, Stakes is High. Dope album. Uh, keeping it on the um, Native Tongues front. Leaders of the New School. Second album. Um, Inner Mind's Eye. Time. 2LP. Got uh, House of Pain's third album. Uh, Truth Crest to Earth, Earth Will Rise Again. It's a pretty dope cover. Really, really super nice copy of this. With the promo stamp, the gold promo. Uh, we got Hard Knocks, School of Hard Knocks on Wild Pitch Records. This came out in, I think, 90 or 91. No, actually it was 92. Um, kind of a positive political type um, LP in comparison to uh, kind of like a lot, a lot of what was coming out back then. Really dope record. Hard Knocks. We got Junior Mafia, Conspiracy, First Press, 2LP, Boogie Down Productions, Ghetto Music, Blueprint of Hip Hop, Still in the Shrink. This is one of the BDP albums I didn't have, so got to fill that one in nicely. Really nice copy. I right, got a couple more rarities here. Jizza, Liquid Swords, First Press, In the Shrink. This guy was expensive at the time though, $14.99. I guess that's when uh, LP prices first started going up. Um, it's another one I've got. Um, I found a, one of my earlier videos, I think I put it up, um, I had found a copy of the OG at uh, Goodwill. Really, really, really nice copy. Um, this one's actually nicer, believe it or not. Um, mine's got a corner cut. This, this upper corner is cut off the one I got, otherwise it's almost perfect, but this one's like almost untouched shrink is a little bit messed up but you can see the original the original hype sticker was right right down there still got the price tag on it awesome we got dj shadow introducing it's original uk press craig g kingpin first album dj shadow Preemptive Strike, Gatefold, Ultra Magnetic MCs, Four Horsemen. This is the um, 2LP version, DJ version that came out um, a few years after the original press. I think it might have been 96, 94, 96 this came out. But um, on Wild Pitch, and this is on two records. The original press was only on one record, and it was a promo only. So. It was like a black plain sleeve with a sticker on it. Um, this one sounds a lot better. 
than uh, than that version and a classic album ultra magnetic another ultra album you got funk your head up um, like I was saying about the um, four four horsemen album this is how that came originally it's just a one LP on a company sleeve or a plain sleeve with the um, sticker promo version really great album I had this one on tape as a kid murder was the case soundtrack on death row real nice copy a little hype sticker action there all right let me pause this for a second all right we got mad cj mac true game on rap a lot he was from the west coast um this is an album that um i don't think it really i don't think it was really successful when it first came out but it started kind of gaining a lot of traction it's one of those um one just aged pretty well, people are looking for now. Nice album, really nice copy of this. Mad CJ Mack. We got a little mini Dr. Octagon collection here. We got the UK, I think this is a repress of the UK um, version of the LP with um, four records. Three records, it's got three records. We got the uh, US version of the Beats Instrumentalist, Dr. Octagon Instrumentalist. And we got the UK version of Dr. Octagon Instrumentalist the Beats. You got a first press, Snoop Doggy Style. And this is like the second variation of the first press. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about finding the first one. It had uh, G's up, hose down, which I think had a sample clearance issue, so they took it off like right away. This one has it on the track list, but it's not it's not the version that actually has G's up, hose down, even though otherwise it looks you know, almost identical still uh, came out the same year covers a little bit I'm missing a few spots on this one you see but otherwise really nice K Solo Tell the World My Name debut LP we got a sealed copy of Large Professor First Class which dropped in the early 2000s I think um, shout out to uh, the homie Len Funk he gets shouted out here by uh, Large Professor he's a he's a local um, record and sample guru one of the people that uh, Large Pro was uh, down with early early in uh, his uh, production days got uh, Saul Williams double LP this is the first press uh, there's a couple more pretty rare ones here MF Doom Operation Doomsday 2 LP in the shrink uh, and this is the one on Fondalum Records, the very first press, and this, this copy is unbelievably clean. Um, I was just kind of bowled over by this one too, because this is the kind of thing that you really don't, really don't find. Got uh, another rarity. This is a little bit more in the underground tip. Chaos Courts in Session. This was from, I want to say 90, I think it was 89 or 90 on a um, label called, called Bad Boy Records, but not the Bad Boy Records, obviously. Uh, Chaos, Courts and Session. Um, another kind of underground on our first priority. This is Alliance. We could get used to this. Dope record. we will seen with the uh, techniques on the cover there. All right, this one, this one's another, definitely a grail. Tupac, All Eyes on Me, the original promo version. You see the stamp on the front. Um, yeah, all four records are in here. Really nice shape. Um, this cover, as you know, these have kind of a flat or like a matte finish, so um, they wear really easily. But this one's still really nice shape. It's in a, it's in a sleeve now. It's kind of hard to tell, but super nice copy of this. Um, you got True Master, Greatest Hits, on Select Records, uh, some of the Bomb Squad uh, members like Hank Shockley, Carl, uh, or Chuck D, Eric Sadler did production on this. Really dope album. You got Tall, Dark, and Handsome, uh, another late 80s um, record. I believe these guys were down with, I think they might have been down with JVC Forest, I'm not sure. Really nice album, kind of hard to find. Got Spoonie G, Godfather of Rap, Reno Spoonie G. Now here's a compilation on um, 
Star Maker Records, I guess. Uh, it's called Fast Money. Some early kind of fast rap. Got Positive K, one of his first tracks. Rob Bass, before he was um, with uh, DJ Easy Rock. Some other dope stuff on this. Got a Word Up compilation. Record label out of Philly. It's a New York to Philly um, rap connection compilation or album. Another one of those on um, U-Rock, Posse and Effect. This is on uh, Urban Rock Records. This is kind of like a compilation of their artists. Some fast rap type stuff. Really dope. Uh, then we've got some promo. These are mostly clean LPs. Got the Sunset Park movie soundtrack. Heather B. Taking Mine. Two LP promo. This one is the is the explicit version. Uh, the picture cover one has a um, well, it has a picture cover, but it's only one record. The promo is more for the DJs. Sounds a little better. It's on two records. Uh, we got Bahamadia Collage. This one is a clean rec uh, LP. Uh, we got clean version of High School High soundtrack and King T for Life radio edited version. So uh, yeah, those are the hip hop LPs I picked up. Um, this guy actually had more stuff. So uh, scrape up a few more dollars. I might end up going back out there and, and grabbing more of those LPs. Um, I passed on some of the ones that I already had nice copies of or that um, I knew I'd probably find again. Um, but I know there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of good stuff still there. So um, we'll see what happens. But um, that concludes the LP pickups, the hip hop LP pickups. And uh, I'm going to do another one for the 12 inch singles and the soul and funk LPs. Thanks for checking it out. Peace.